Do you know a Safari browser emulator for Windows? Oof. No, I do not. I remember Safari used to be able to be installed on Windows once upon a time. But I imagine if you're testing that for like web development, you're probably going to need... I would honestly just do a, a Mac EMU. Why not, right? They're super easy to do. If you're unfamiliar like Mac EMUs, sorry to take a little bit of a sidetrack, but this is going to be something special for some folks. Um, there's a really cool project, uh, Mac EMU project. Uh, I think it, I think it might be Q, QMU. So I mean, Linux people out there might, might do it. What was that called? Was it OSX KVM? It might've been. Yeah, this is it. This is a project. I would just grow, spin up a KVM with OSX. Now, this is a special project because I believe it does it. Is it a Docker container? I remember one was a Docker container. Yeah, this one just uses QMU. There's also one that could spin up a Docker container with it contained inside of it. But this will download everything for you, set up the VM, everything. All you need is QMU on like a Linux box. And that will make your life way easier for any web developers out there. You can spin this up, bam, test it. Because I, there's probably hacky ways to get Safari working on Windows, but it's not going to be a true test if you're actually testing web pages on it. So I would much rather, I'd be much more comfortable with you doing a VM and testing that way. Could you do a video on how to pass through a GPU on QMU? Uh, yeah, I've actually done a couple videos on it. Let me, let me get those for you. It's not the most, it's not the most intuitive thing. It just really isn't. And it depends on hardware. There are some really nasty hardware out there that don't give you clean IO MMU groups. And that can make things very, very difficult. So when you go to pass through, it just, it's just not going to work. Regardless, here's uh, here's what you need. Copy clean link. Let's uh, um, this is gonna be PCI pass through. There's two videos there. One setting up like QMU, and the second one's like actually doing the pass through. Um, again, mileage will vary. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna retouch on the subject just because one those videos did pretty terrible and they took a long time to make, and uh, two. It's a very select portion of the population that can afford two GPUs. <laughs> you know, there's not very many people out there that have a whole bunch of GPUs just laying around. So that's that's the reason why I really don't touch on it much anymore. Oh, I'm struggling on a 4070 and an AMD. Are you passing the? Obviously, you're passing the 4070. What's the CPU model you're you're passing passing through? Or or you're not passing through a CPU. You're passing through the 4070. I imagine. So. Is that model even valid? Um, AP, I don't think that's an APU, is it? Give me the specs. I don't think that's an APU. Mm, maybe. No, I don't. That's not an APU, man. You got no onboard graphics. Oh, it is an APU. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry, this shows me what I know about hardware. I'm still stuck on the 5000 series, which definitely does not have that. <laughs> oh, man, I need to upgrade. Uh, yeah, okay. Graphics cap Oh, graphics. Here we go. Yeah. Graphics core count two. Fine for running in terminal, I'm sure. Um, but you're not going to be doing much with the core count of two on the GPU side of things. But still, okay. That's neat. I can appreciate, I can appreciate that. No, 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 no. NVIDIA, that's a thing of the past. NVIDIA is actually probably my preferred pass through. The AMD GPUs to pass those through are a pain in the butt. There's a lot of them with uh, vendor reset errors. So you like you pass through them once and they work and then you shut it down and you go to restart it again and it just, it's borked and you got to reboot your whole PC before you can do it again. So actually, if you're passing through GPUs, I highly recommend NVIDIA instead of AMD, where AMD is what I usually recommend for all Linux users out there. 